Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy voting day. Hopefully we get the great red wave that is being predicted here, and that we uh, can stop everything that the evil Democrats are trying to do to the American people, and maybe potentially fix things for once. So, that being said, hopefully you go out and vote today, and you vote correctly, so that way we don't end up in a place called China that will like to control the American people. Because we all know if the Democrats get full power, well, guess what? That means we, uh, we're all screwed. But, enough with that type of uh, great uh, analogy, we're going to go into some other great things that are potentially happening. Uh, it seems that uh, there's some election and voting issues that seems to be happening across our country right now. And it seems that this is the one. A uh, Fetterman campaign sues Pennsylvania election officials to have ballots without dates and incorrect count dates counted. Well, that doesn't seem so uh, so great. I mean, you might be because you might be losing in Pennsylvania, but <laughs> I digress. Pennsylvania Democratic l l Lunatic Governor John Fetterman, U.S. Senate campaign, filed a lawsuit Monday against state election officials, arguing that a mail ballots with an incorrect or blank date should be counted in Tuesday's election. Plaintiffs have asked a federal judge to order all mail ballots to be counted regardless of the date voters pin on the envelope. The lawsuit comes a week after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that officials should set aside and not count mail ballots with an incorrect or empty date. The date requirement imposes unnecessary hurdles that eligible, that eligible Pennsylvanians must clear to exercise the most fundamental right, resulting in otherwise valid votes being arbitrarily rejected without any reciprocal benefit to the Commonwealth, the lawsuit reads. I don't see how the date requirement hurdles anything. It kind of makes it, you know, kind of the government required to, oh, I don't know, have the vote there exactly on that date so you know exactly when that vote was casted. Not, you know, a week later, two weeks later. Oh, God forbid, a few months later. I mean, it, that's kind of important. The same thing where the Democrats were trying to say, oh, well, um... You, it it would be considered racist to not have uh to not have to have the force people to have IDs for their for voting. Yeah. Um. Uh. Why is that racist? Do you think that black people can't read or don't have an ID? Because I last time I checked, pretty much majority, if not all, of Americans have IDs. Oh yeah, and even black people. And by the way, black people are not stupid enough to not be able to vote. So I don't know where you're getting that from. Democrats. Plaintiffs in the case argue that the date instruction has no relevance to determining whether an individual is qualified to vote under Pennsylvania law as long as voters cast ballots by the date of the election and meet the standard U.S. voter requirements. This sounds like a loser complaining that he sounds like a loser that he is about to lose his, uh, his governor's seat and, you know, uh, wants to cheat or, uh, whatever to make sure he stays in power. That, that, that sounds what, that's what that sounds like. The lawsuit alleges that election officials are rejecting qualified voters who accidentally fail to write the date on their ballot envelope, and more still will be rejected when voters enter in a correct date, such as their birthday instead of the date they completed or signed their ballot, which makes complete sense considering the fact that if you um, sign an incorrect date or the fact that they a wrong birthday kind of indicates that they may not be the person voting for that person. You know, that... That's really important, you know. Like, you know. Oh, I was born on this day, but in reality, I was born on. I was born in August twenty fifth. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that doesn't fly. You're. Uh, it kind of means you're lying for one, which is a crime. Last time I checked, and another thing as well, it means you're a different person entirely, which is, <laughs> you know, again, not not good. Plaintiffs in the case argue that the date instruction has... Uh, oh, my bad. <clears throat> Already did it. Already did it. The lawsuit alleges that officials are rejecting qualified voters uh, and who actually failed to write the date on the ballot for envelope, blah, 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 blah. And uh, Fetterman and his Republican opponent, Mohamed Oz, have been campaigning neck-to-neck -neck for the congressional seat in the battleground state. According to three separate polls from the Trafalgar group... <laughs> we're going to go with one piece with that one. Trafalgar Law... Big Data Poll and Insider Advantage Fox 29, Philadelphia voters have odds up to two points in a race where every vote counts to determine the winner. But without the support from state law to count mail ballots marked an incorrect or blank state, Democrats could likely lose tens of thousands of votes that would be thrown 
out. Although it's unclear how many ballots will be affected by the Supreme Court ruling, Democrats disproportionately use mail ballots over Republicans. Democracy Docket reports that registered Democrats have returned 70% of approximately 14,000 mail-in and de absentee ballots in Monroe County, nearly four times the percentage of ballots returned by Republican voters. According to the lawsuit, Democrats argue that rejecting ballots without a correct date violates the First Amendment and the 14th Amendment, uh, which, which says a state cannot utilize re-election practices that un un unduly burden the right to vote. Yeah, you see, Democrats, you're only saying that so you can get the most possible way to win. Um, no, you're also the same type of people that would say that, again, as I mentioned, that, you, that having an ID is considered racism, which is not, because everybody has, you know, uh, everybody has an ID. Um, yeah, even the people that you hate, which is black people, so I digress. The Philadelphia Inquirer reports voting rights groups joined together to file a separate lawsuit in Pittsburgh Federal Court following the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruling last week arguing that county officials should not be allowed to toss out such ballots under the maturity provision of the Civil Rights Act, which has secured victories in similar cases. Federal court officials have yet to set a hearing for the lawsuit. Well, there you have it. Um, see, here's the thing with this whole, uh, with this whole election thing. I think a lot of scuff things are going to end up happening, and I think that it may not go super well. Uh, I think we'll have a lot of battles, a lot of misconceptions and stuff, and of course, I think if the if there is this massive wave that is, red wave that is predicted, then well, guess what? That also means that, uh, the, that, uh, um, Democrats are gonna pull every stop in the book, say that there's voter deniers and stuff like that, and what have you, because, you know, it's, it's, it's okay when, it's okay, it's, it's, uh, it's voter deniers and stuff when, uh, the Republicans, uh, uh, when the Democrats do it, but it's not when Republicans say it, so, you know, they meet their own. Alright, guys, that's it for the video, short one this time, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.